I hope you all have a happy and wonderful Thanksgiving. Hey guys, me host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! I got a brand new set of the Muppets from Diamond Select. This is Sam, Eagle, and Rizzo the Rat. I'm very excited to have Sam joining us on the channel. In fact, Sam will be joining us in person uh, for, for a little bit later on, so stay tuned for that good stuff. But for now, guys, <laughs> I'm dying to open this bad boy. But I want to say a big thank you to Diamond Select for sending this through. It's been a while since we've had Muppets on the channel. These have been quite hard to come by here in the UK, um, and I'm so happy to have been sent some Muppets. I've obviously I've done reviews previously on the Grumpy Old Men uh, from in, in their little box. We've had those. Uh, I've done a Kermit the Frog. I love the Kermit figure to this day, still on my shelf behind me. And uh, yeah, and now we've got uh, Sam and Rizzo. I'm really hoping that in the future we might be able to see Animal. I'd still love to try and find Animal. And um, I want Swedish Chef as well. But I love the Muppets in general. And I cannot believe they've never made a Muppets Christmas Carol set. Um, this close to Christmas. Muppets Christmas Carol, one of my favourite Christmas movies. But right now, guys, we need to get Sam out of the packaging because this little this little guy is going to be a big part of my skits in the new in the new year. Because I always loved the old Muppets, where he would show up and be like, "Today we need to talk about <laughs> we need to talk about capitalism in America." <laughs> and I've got something very awesome to share with you today. We're going to have Sam Eagle himself here to help us with the finale of the show. Sam, you about ready? Yes, it's a glorious three-hour finale. You've got a minute and a half. <gasps> He really thought he had all the time in the world. Sam. We've got a channel to run, pal. Right, let's look at what else is on this. I love these little leaflets. Not having these leaflets in a long time. Wow! It shows all the different Muppets available. So on these, yeah, so the sets here that we've got from the Muppets. I've already reviewed Kermit, which came with uh, Tiny Tim and the Bunny. I can never remember his name. Bunny! <laughs> and I've also reviewed um, Beaker and Bunsen, Bunsen and Beaker, and I've also re reviewed uh, Waldorf and Statler, the Grumpy Old Men. So I still need, I still need an animal. I still need Fo you know, Fozzie Bear, waka waka, and I still need Gonzo himself. We need Gonzo anyway because Gonzo and Rizzo obviously are a pair, and uh, they need to be together. So I will be trying to hunt down some more Muppets. So stay tuned to the channel, guys, in the new year. Hopefully, we'll be able to track down some more Muppet sets. It's been a long time since, obviously, I've been focused on Marvel and Star Wars for so long. I've missed, I've missed doing, like, Muppets and Disney, and I've missed doing some, like, some of the other stuff that's out there. And I want to get back to that in the new year. I want to get back to reviewing some, some different things on the channel. Things that we've not looked at in a long time that we used to look at all the time. I think it also helps that we've not had a really good Disney film with mer with merchandising out for quite a while. Um, obviously, in Encanto, I, did, I wasn't a massive fan of personally. My daughter and wife love it. But that wasn't one that I was massively thinking. So hopefully with some new Disney movies in the new year, we might see some really cool new merch. So I'm just warming up the joints here on Rizzo because I've seen ooh, I've seen horror stories online of Rizzo yeah, being a little bit stiff. So I want to warm these up gently and slowly move them into place. So we don't do any damage. Yeah, it's better. There we go. And his head, yeah. Just that leg. There we go. One leg there. Nicely moving. Second leg. It's getting that. There we go. Okay, cool. Is his tail articulated? Yeah, cool. All right, I've got them both kind of warmed up a little bit there. Here is Sam Eagle out of the packaging. He comes, I thought he was meant to come with like a light set. I haven't seen this though, there was no light set in it. Uh, he does come with his little uh, podium, his presidential podium, which I love. It's got, a, it's got Sam Eagle's eagle on the podium. And, uh, and it's like, can be used as like a shelf and stuff. There's things like room for things underneath it. On the box it showed like a light display, but there was nothing else in the box. Uh, maybe that came with the original set. This is because I think some of the Muppets got re-released. Like I know the re-released Waldorf and Statler. 
without the big box, but I, I got the original release that came with the box. Okay, articulation for Sam. So his head can move left and right, I believe. Oh no, is, is his head static? Oh no, is that head static? Oh no, it's not. It just took a minute to warm up. There we go. Okay, so his head can move left and right. Uh, he can look up and down and stuff, so that's great. The arms here also move around. There's a little ball joint there, so you can rotate his arms around. And he's got a little feather tail at the back, which also can move. His legs can lift outwards. Whoa, they go out, they go out all the way. And as well as forwards, so he can sit down and stuff. And there is a little hinge in the feet as well. He's not he's gonna be he's gonna be stood on my shelf, and he's gonna be pretty much because of how he is, he's gonna be stood tall, statured. It's a salute to all nations, but mainly America. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Sam Eagle for president, people. So let's get him down there behind his little podium, just like in the Muppets. And of course we get Rizzo! Who doesn't love Rizzo the Rat? Rizzo the Rat is awesome. And he's got his jacket on, which says the Ratty Duke show on the back of it. <laughs> he's got his little hat on backwards. You can move his head up and down, left and right. His arms lift out to the side and rotate. Hands are static along with the actual arm itself. And his little legs can lift forwards and backwards. Ooh. And his tail is uh, articulated as well, can move left and right. There are display peg holes should we use display base, but you're not going to need to. Once you kind of get the legs warmed up, you can get him to stand pretty easily on his own. I definitely need a Gonzo now. I definitely need Gonzo to go with Rizzo. But guys, let's jump on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at these two awesome Muppet figures. Good evening. I am Sam Eagle. Today we will discuss politics in America. Bad idea, Bob. <laughs> I wish I could do the voices, Bob, because you know what? I would love to be just. I'm looking at him. I love him so much. He's such a cute little figure. I love the Muppets so much. Yeah, how cool are these figures, man? They look just like their puppets. Like, when I was I was laughing then, because when I was playing with him, when I made him sort of walk on, he does actually look like Rizzo the Rat. He looks just like him. It's perfect. It's brilliant. The Muppets render themselves very well in toy form. They're so cool. I wish I'd have collected the, um, the Muppet Star Wars figures years ago. Because they were cool. Obviously, then they'd re-release and did the uh, the Disney versions. But yeah, it would have been cool to get the Muppets. But um, I'm I'm happy. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna collect more Diamond Select Muppets because I think they are a lot of fun. And like I say, on my shelf right now, I do have quite a few of them already. Um, I think there, there, there was a Miss Piggy set at one point in time. I'm sure. I need a Miss Piggy. They're just good. They're, they're cool for doing skits with as well. They're just perfect little little Muppet characters, aren't they? They're just brilliant. And I love the fact that they gave us Sam Eagle's little podium. Again, perfectly rendered, just like in the actual Muppets TV show. And like I say, that was always that, that was always a fun part of the show. We would come on and just start talking about a particular subject, then he'd always get interrupted by someone or <clears throat> Rizzo for me and Gonzo, obviously that that friendship. Um, has been used many times in the Muppet movies and stuff, especially with like um, the Muppets Christmas Carol and uh, Treasure Island. And then most recently they were together in the Haunted Mansion um, one on Disney Plus, which was absolutely amazing. <laughs> but yeah, Sam looks cool as well. He's again that furrowed brow and stuff, he's well painted. Just a quality figure. Whilst the Diamond Select, um, you know, they, they, they are... I consider Diamond Select figures to be posable statues. That's how I look at them. And he definitely is the perfect Muppet to be a statuesque. You know what I mean? He's very he's very um, stern looking. And you can just imagine that stood on your shelf with the little podium. And, oh, he's great. He's absolutely great. And what better figure to review on Thanksgiving, eh? There's no better figure than Sam Eagle. There's nothing more American to me than something like Sam Eagle. <laughs> I hope you all have a happy and wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> what a great figure set. And thank you once again for Diamond Select for sending these through to us for review purposes. 
because they are absolutely amazing. But guys, what are your thoughts on the Muppet sets? Let us know in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching guys, and until next time, may the force be with you.